Ora boas pessoal, daqui que eu falo é o puto capa e sejam bem vindos pessoal aqui mais um episódio daquela que é a nossa série de The Wolf Among Us a série que está quase a terminar pessoal estamos aqui hoje para gravar mais uma parte do episódio 4 e vamos ver se é a última parte ou não mas vou-me deixar de encher chorizos e vamos lá seguir aqui para o vídeo pessoal ver o que é que se vai passar no episódio 2 e obrigado por continuar aqui o episódio, episódio 4. Devemos ir para, para, devemos ir para a loja do Jack, acho eu. Foi onde a gente ficou no episódio passado, penso eu. Mas vamos já ver isso. E desde já quero agradecer o feedback que vocês têm tentado dar nos vídeos. Obrigado este ano. Este ano o canal tem estado a crescer bastante, no meu ver. E espero que... Espero que, continue, espero que continue assim ainda mais. Vamos lá ver o que é que vai correr. Como é que vai correr o meu ano de 2017. Se dá para evoluir ou não pessoal. Mas espero que sim. Os loadings aqui a trollar-nos mais uma vez. Mas vamos. Vamos fazer tudo para que, para que o canal cresça. E que venha mais pessoas. Aqui também para o nosso canal. Para não ser para não sermos sempre os últimos a... para não sermos sempre os mesmos aqui nos vídeos e os loadings aqui mais uma vez ah. exatamente vamos aqui para a loja do Jack para a lavandaria Jack o que está acontecendo? eu sou o cara que vai deixar o cara e é isso Woody If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. <clears throat> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? <laughs> That's it? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like it went with Tweedledum. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> You done it. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Sultan. Eu 
You just found some. Tell me. Desculpa aí lá pessoal, foi um início Desculpa aí lá pessoal, foi um início De episódio muito intenso E eu tive que estar calado para conseguir acertar nas teclas Mesmo assim ainda errei algumas teclas The Magic Mirror's Missing Shard Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No yeah, way. Man. Oh, crooked man. The door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Where'd they take it? Where did they take it? Yeah, they took Crane and got it. How the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? That sick piece of... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Tá, é Out of smoke. Goody grand. Yeah, I <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Yes, but I cuido bem deles. Não te preocupes. Tenho problemas, mas eu cuido bem deles. About what? About those girls. There is something. And get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Believe me, that's all I've been doing this whole damn time. All right, we'll go do it then. Hey, what am I? What? Hey, Wood. Yeah. You gonna be all right? You know me. 
Exatamente, meu rei. Ah, abraço para ti, meu. <risos> Acabamos por ajudar o lenhador, pessoal. Acho que, acho que foi o mais sensato, pessoal, porque ele, apesar de ter sido sempre bom para, para a gente, mas, mas decidi ajudar, porque é o nosso trabalho. Somos o um xerife da cidade, acho que devemos ajudar as pessoas de, da nossa cidade. Acho que sim, né, pessoal? Deixem já, o, deixem já o vosso forte like pela lutazinha de, logo ao início do episódio. Eu não me importo quem matou as prostitutas. Se o Crane estava ajudando a se ajudar aos comunidades de coffers, isso significa que as mãos estão no meu pocket. E você só deixou ele ir? Eu não sei o que você ouviu, mas não aconteceu assim. Você está denunciando os fatos? Eu estou denunciando me a chance de obter uma palavra. Agora, Miss White, eu não sei. O Sheriff Bigby tem voltado. Ah, esse é o Rock and Roll himself. Bigby, onde você está? Eu não estou terminado aqui, Miss White. Você vai ter que esperar. Só uma hora. 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 Só Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood, and you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Yeah. Good work, Big B. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. Once the mirror's fixed, we can use it to find that crooked bastard. Or at least wherever he hangs his hat. That's how Crane kept tabs on him. And everybody else. I'd say he was abusing the privilege. He was probably spying on all of us. He was probably spying on me. Anyway... No, it's fine. You did excellent work, Bigby. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Oh yeah? Take a number. <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? You got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. It had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane Orange was that psycho bloody man. Maybe she had some. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the Mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Yeah, yeah. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. Yeah. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. 
Toad. This is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours and how it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, Total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. Look, Crane left us in the lurch here. Just yeah, it's an interesting thing to say how it's something, you know, urgent. I wish I could help. But... Me and my boy getting shipped off to the farm is pretty bloody urgent to me. And I even brought in this damn magic coat. I could have sold it, but I know you wanted it. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Be surprised if anyone Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. I'm boys, darling. <laughs> well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. But glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened. You've seen his world. Do you have so. any I should idea go why back he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. Yeah, yeah, okay. Magic about to... medals, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Wait, what was that? I have to say that? I have been better, but thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, oh, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain yeah. she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but 
That's the crooked man's symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Yeah. Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. Ew. I don't care if it gets out of hand, you don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Vamos lá! Vamos lá atrás do Crooked Man, Mas calma, pessoal. Calma. Muita calma. Muita calma nessa hora. Como dizem os bra... Os brasileiros Muita calma nessa hora cara Pessoal está frio Muita calma nessa hora E pronto pessoal Vamos ficar por aqui pessoal Espero que tenham gostado Mais uma parte do episódio 4 e até o próximo vídeo pessoal, vemos por aí no canal, partilhem, comentem com a vossa avó, com a vossa tia, com a vossa prima e vemos por aí no canal e fui!